In large cities where traffic is causing congestion problems, combining urban mobility for motor vehicles with reducing their negative impact on the environment at the same time has become a serious challenge. To solve this problem, town planners are making increasing use of urban tunnels and cut and cover projects that also allow for new park areas or other urban developments to be created and enjoyed by residents. However, the relief provided by these tunnels is accompanied by the environmental problem caused by the high concentration of pollutant particles and noxious gases that are generated inside the tunnels and that need to be extracted, protecting residents from an unhealthy environment. Founded in the year 2000, Filtrontech is a German company fully engaged in the design and construction of air filtration systems for urban tunnels. We are at one of the three stations that Filtrontech has installed in 2007 for the M30 inner city ring road of Madrid to filter the air of its tunnels. To reduce significantly the air pollution from the exhaust air before releasing it into the atmosphere in long urban and road tunnels, the installation of electrostatic filters has proven to be the most efficient and cost-saving technology. Therefore, the design of such major tunnels as those on the M30 in Madrid and the M5 East Motorway in Sydney have already incorporated these systems. Electrostatic filters ionize and capture the suspended particles in polluted air, especially the small-sized ones that are the most harmful to people's health. Our air filtration solution use a pre-ionizer followed by an electrostatic filter that grants for the retention of up to 95% of the polluting particles. After the electrostatic precipitator, the air passes through the active carbon filter to capture the noxious nitrogen dioxide gases by adsorption. As a result, the air released into the atmosphere contains fewer gaseous and pollutant particles than the air usually found in the environment around the tunnel entrances. Filtron Tech filters are manufactured in small-sized, easy-to-handle modules that make it possible to create a structure that adapts to the airflow to be filtered and the geometry of the service gallery allocation in the tunnels. According to the required airflow, the filter size will vary from small units, like for example this one behind me, designed for 52 cube meters per second, to larger ones for 200 or more cube meters per second. Following the airflow, a standard installation comprises an air intake grill to retain larger objects like papers, plastics or leaves, followed by a silencing unit to reduce the noise. Then the air is conducted through the pre-ionizer unit used to increase the efficiency of the electrostatic precipitator. The core element of the filter is the electrostatic precipitator, composed of an ionizer and a collector plate that capture the particulate by electrostatic attraction from a direct current electricity field generated by a high voltage transformer. Finally, an active carbon filter wall is installed to retain the NOx gases as the air passes through. The particle dirt collected on the electrostatic precipitator's collector plates is regularly removed by washing the filter with additive-free water, which is sprayed by lines of nozzles installed in front of and behind the filter. The rising water of the collected pollutants is pumped to a water filtering station that cleans the water allowing the reuse of most of the water for the next washing cycle. After the washing, the totally automatic system moves on to a drying or air blowing sequence using compressed air, which makes it possible to significantly reduce the drying time and so reactivate the filter availability in less than 30 minutes. Finally, as you can see, the cleaned air is released through a very small construction into the middle of a green area with no visual impact and people walking around. Thanks to this technology and Filtron Tech systems, major cities such as Madrid, Sydney and Hong Kong have taken a huge step towards improving traffic flow, reducing at the same time pollution and recovering new urban spaces for their inhabitants.